262, so that'd be great to hit the 250. Um, oh my. It's, oh, wow. Okay. Do it. I'll get a light on for you guys in just a minute. Hello, hi, the other Sherry. <laughs> there we go. All right, got Kara getting her kit on again. Um, unfortunately, you guys, we are using my phone right now, and my phone's the new iPhone 14. It does not tell me what time it is up in the corner. I'm pretty sure it's like 10.32 or something like that over here in Cozumel. Um, it's a little bit annoying. Um, off in the distance, way, way, way far away, we've got a little bit of a lightning storm going on. So if we do see any rain on the surface, we are going to call the dive. Um, I just don't want to be diving in any uh, lightning storms, but... It should be far enough away for us to get a good, like, hour and a half, two hour dive in with you guys tonight. Um, so that's our goal. 10.32. Yes, that up. It's like we've done this before. So, hello, hello. Welcome, you guys. Um, we are out here in Cozumel, Mexico. Yes, we are going out on another dive. Uh, we do like these later dives because it gives out all those nocturnal creatures time to wake up and get ready for their actively uh, night. Uh, we're, no, we're not done for the night. We are actually about to go out. We are on our way out. We are getting our kits on. We're going to go out. Hello, B. Nice to see you again. So awesome to have you guys all with us. I know. Yay, another dive. Woo, the last dive. For those of you guys who were with us, it was awesome. We had two very interactive uh, octopus with us and we loved them. They're amazing. Um, I know, two dives tonight. We're so lucky. We were gonna do two dives last night, but Brittany and I were just exhausted. So we are feeling much better today. And definitely going out. Um, we are not really in a, the spot where the hurricane is. That is going to be more on the Pacific side. We are on the Atlantic side over by the Caribbean um, in Cozumel, Mexico. So hello, hello, you guys. We're going to take you guys out on a night dive. Um, we are going to go and look for eels and octopus and our wonderful little sea pancakes, the yellow Caribbean stingrays. Um, I know I was looking so hard for him. Like any time I was like looking out, I'm like, where's Flapjack? He's out here. I know he is. Um, I don't even know. It could be a she. Uh, that is something you need to see the underside to determine the gender of those. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but they like to lay on the ground. So that makes that a little different. Um, do you ever see any mammals? Not out here. They're not like super common for us to see them out here, but we have seen them in Hawaii. We've seen, uh, we used to take you guys kayaking with the humpback whales and we've seen monk seals and dolphins and all the fun things. So if you guys want to go check out our previous dives, they're up on YouTube. Just search Maui Pose. Come dive with us and you will see them up there. Go watch them. We'd love you guys forever if you go and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, but welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for following us. You guys are awesome. We actually have a goal tonight. We want to get to 380,000 followers. I think we've got this. You guys are going to help us get there, right? Yes. yes. Back in the water we go. Have you been close to orcas? No, we have not. I think the only whales we've really been close to are, um, uh um, False, false killer whales and humpbacks. Yep. Let's do it. We are going to go down. Um, they are not in Maui. No, we are not. Uh, I'm actually from Hawaii, 
house, raised in Maui, spent my entire adult life and my childhood, uh, most of my life in Maui. Um, we just left about two months ago. We have been in Mexico. Um, in a couple more months, we're going to be taking you guys to Egypt. <laughs> so, lots of traveling. Uh, I gotta get down here. I just don't trust my footing. I fall a lot. <laughs> um, there we go. <laughs> we did, we did. Come to Australia. Yeah, we're going back in. Uh, yes, it is a little after 10.30 p.m. here in Mexico. I have no idea what day of the month it is. What is it, like the 19th? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> of August. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> um, yes, yes, we're excited. We'll be in um, uh, Egypt. I am do, hoping to explore some other places in the Middle East with you guys as well. Um, but we're excited to take you guys diving in Egypt here in a couple of months. Uh, yay! I'm so happy you're going to be getting your uh, dive license to get out here yay! and in the ocean. Do it. Do it. Do it. And we will go down and get you guys under the water. Um, you're getting dive certified next summer. Yay. I love it. I love it. That's so awesome. So, so uh, yeah, we're thinking of Egypt next. We probably will go back to the mainland for a little while. Um, check out some places out there for you guys. Um, but it, it is all a conversation that we're, we're discussing currently. So, but Egypt is going to be our next uh international place that we go to so super fun super excited um yay Woo! that was fun Brittany does not like that lightning it's okay there's no thunder which means it's not close right you guys lightning's okay it's the thunder that's scary we are not gonna see whales tonight we're gonna be in very shallow water we'll be about uh 20 to 30 feet deep so nothing too deep out there but it'll be fun for sure we're gonna go find some more octopus some eels hopefully we get to see some squid of course our that would be so rare that is like one in a billion chance that we'd see a whale it is not like the time of the year for whales to be out here and I would honestly be more concerned that we were seeing a whale. I'd definitely be excited, but I would be very concerned uh, why there would be a whale out here in this area. Um, we probably won't see dolphins either. Dolphins kind of like to hang out during the daytime in the morning, and I have no idea where they're found out here. Um, but you know, if you follow and subscribe to our channel, chances are we will run into these animals throughout the, our wonderful adventures of scuba diving around the world. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are in Cozumel, Mexico. We are at a place called Sunset Beach. We're about to take you guys diving. Renee is just putting her full face mask on so she can talk to you guys underwater. Welcome back, welcome back. Um, it is so nice of you guys to join us. Uh, I know the last dive was super awesome with all those partridge shells. So many of them out there. Uh, so that was super awesome. Plus we got to see that little itty bitty baby jellyfish. I kind of loved it. It was adorable. So very, very adorable. Oh my God, I know. Diving at night. How exciting. I love it. Everything comes out at night. So it'll be fun. Okay, I think we're ready to go down. I'm going to hand this over to Brittany.
Thank <laughs> you. 
we are looking for octopus. Oh, 
was your issue to go? It was great. It was. Uh, now I know why you say you hate those worms. They're very relentless. Yeah. There oh was my just god. One of them, right? Like the whole time? No, there okay, was I like was three one. different ones, but that first one was there like almost an hour. Yeah, I was over. I, oh my god. No, I've never before in my life really thought that my hair is now a worm graveyard. Yeah, it's a word. It's, that's what I was scared of. Is I'm like getting in my hair in between my BCD. I was like, please just go away. Stop but anyways, that. um, yes, you guys see the red buoy and the cable. So this is we drag this. That's that's my job. We drag this around with us the whole time we're diving to make sure that we have internet while we're underwater because yes, I do understand that Wi-Fi does not go through water, but it goes through cables. <laughs> so we have figured that part out. Yes, so if you're not following, you need to follow oh, yeah. now because we're cool like that. Perfect timing. It like just started. <laughs> Oh, it is? <laughs> Perfect timing. That means we're going to miss the thunderstorm. Uh, I was a little cold there at the end. Really? Yeah. I did not get cold at all. Water's um, at almost 87 degrees yes. Fahrenheit. It is very warm in the water here. Um, but, whew, that was a good dive though. We got to see a lot of like... Sorry, let me just shine that right now. No, it's fine. It's fine. It was, <laughs> no, the fireworm was really cool. Um, I didn't even really, I just, I'm not a big fan of the worms. I did not realize that I'm in like two feet of water. Yeah. Ooh, I need a swim deeper. I can't stand up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's too much of a thigh workout. Oh no. Nope, you're uh, it is uh, a little, I think it's a little after midnight, you guys, here in Mexico. Um, so it's not Saturday night anymore. It's super early Sunday morning. Um, that was our second dive. Both dives, I think, were over 80 minutes. I'm pretty sure. Um, so we've been underwater a long time tonight. Uh, we got out here about 7.30 p.m. Um, <laughs> thank you guys, though. For all the love, uh, we're going to be in Mexico about another two months or so. Um, and then we are, I'm fairly certain, um, ish, confirmed, <laughs> and uh, Egypt is our next uh, dive spot with you guys. So, um, no, we don't usually see octopus hunting during the day. They are a nocturnal predator. So we're going to, most, yeah, most of the time. The ones here are. Um, it depends on the species. Yes, carrots, correct. So, dependent on the species, we have seen octopus out hunting during the day in like Hawaii and Hawaii. Um, but out here in Mexico, we've only seen them out hunting at night. And they're very um, not shy. I don't know how else to word that. Uh, they will actively hunt and put on, you know, hang out with us. Like, they're not worried that we're filming them and we're just sitting there with them while they're doing their thing so they're super cool what is the temperature of the water uh the water is about 87 degrees fahrenheit so it's really warm um keep in mind we have spent close to three hours um underwater tonight just underwater so <laughs> um probably four hours uh like wet and in wet clothes so yeah we're getting a little chilly um, we did not wear wetsuits tonight just because it is really warm. What did that say? You missed the goal. Aren't we still alive? <laughs> I can't see that. Um, okay. Sorry, I missed that last comment. How many calories did you burn? How many calories do you think we burned there? <laughs> A lot. Five minutes fully submerged in the water is about 600. Can you hold this, please? Yeah, sorry. I'm like, Woo! Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. You hold that. <laughs> I'm like, I can't. Uh, Jade. Sorry, I missed your question, Jade. Um. Answer me, answer me, answer me. Sorry, Jade, we were 
trying to get our heavy equipment off it is very uh a lot like 50 to um pounds a gear, you guys. yes calm down a little bit while we're uh, getting it off yes so but um i do know that like 45 minutes in the water is about uh 600 calorie workout so we burned a lot way more than i ate today <laughs> that's okay though it was fun um from argentina yay that's so awesome uh yes the phone is still in the phone case probably gonna leave it in the phone case because that's where our flashlight's at so it makes it easier for you guys to see but it does make it muffled we do understand that so um the reason why we couldn't touch the sand is because it's not exactly just sand out there um it's a lot of like there's a lot of uh like seaweed and sponges and everything that grows in the sand so it creates this whole ecosystem in the sand where there's um happens to be uh not uncommonly found electric rays so there is things down there that are dangerous um they also have like fire coral and you can find a lot of things that are in there that could hurt you so that's where we don't touch the sand there is places in the world where you can touch the sand like there were spots out in Hawaii where the sand was easy to just pick up, but out there it's not really sand. Um, like it may look like it, but it's not just sand. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Every square so. inch we're looking at when we're down there, tiny little spaces, have dozens of creatures in it. I mean, to reach out and grab onto the seafloor, you're disrupting these home the plants that are right there. Also, Kara, did you see the tiny baby stonefish? Is that what that was? Okay, I was like, you're like freaking out until I'm pointing at it. I'm like, I can't see that far away. And I was like, I thought it was a stonefish. I thought it was a little scorpion fish. Tiny little scorpion fish, super small. I know. No, you're like, oh my god, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Super venomous. Yeah, do Very not touch. I'm glad you put your finger up next to it because you could not tell how so, small it was. Guys, that thing was like it was barely bigger than her nail. Yeah. Barely bigger than her nail. So tiny. Super small little scorpion fish, stonefish, um, same thing. But it was so cute, so adorable. Um, I'm a little chilly now that I'm out of the water. Okay, I'm like freezing. Uh, but no, I am okay. Oh, that was a great dive. Yeah, here you do this. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys, and thank you, thank you to our moderators um, for hanging out tonight. Everybody. 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 <laughs> no, you guys are awesome. <laughs> so make sure to give them lots of love. They did answer a lot of questions, um, and they really keep the peace on the page. Um, thank you for staying up, too, with us, you guys. I know it's really late for a lot of you. It's late for us. Um, keep in mind, the deeper into the night we get, the more active a lot of those uh, nocturnal animals get. So that's why being out there around midnight is just so awesome for us and so much fun. Um, so that's why we do these late night dives. Um, <laughs> but we do have to clean up a lot of gear. <laughs> Good night, guys. Uh, what's the coolest thing you've ever seen? We've seen some crazy stuff on lives and off these live streams, um, like humpback whales, bottlenose dolphins, spinner dolphins, uh, monk seals, sharks, um, <laughs> big manta rays. Um, so we've seen crazy, crazy stuff um, on the streams and off. We've spent a lot of time in the ocean. I think I like the interactions more than just being in the Yeah, yeah. The animal interactions are awesome. Like um, we had Marty, who loved them. Oh, yeah. Pufferfish weren't on the first dive. No. And then, yeah, we saw a ton of them on the second dive. <laughs> Uh, we're not scared. We're really comfortable in the ocean, and that's why we do these um, streams with you guys, is to um, spend hours and hours and hours a week live streaming underwater, whether it's during the day, super deep dives, blue water dives, or not a lot of night dives. Um, and that's because the ocean isn't this horrifyingly dramatic place like media and a lot of other content creators kind of make you seem definitely a place that needs to be respected and understood and you need to be safe in. you should not be touching animals um you should educate yourself on proper like ocean etiquette and how to be safe but i mean you would want to do that in any situation you put yourself in whether you're in a big city 
or going on a big hike through the mountains or, you know, you, you would look up animals to be weary of or careful around and how much, yeah, yeah, plants not to just touch. And, you know, it's the same exact thing in the ocean. Um, I just feel like it's this like big mysterious place. And when you do see videos of it, it's oftentimes extremely dramatic and scary. And uh, we are here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Turn on live notifications. Uh, but we're here to get you guys in the water three to four days a week <laughs> and follow. Follow if you're not. Um, did we hit 380,000 followers? We were really hoping to tonight. <laughs> um, but yeah, our, our job is to uh, get you guys underwater, uh, not just in Mexico, but worldwide. We spent, we're from Hawaii, so we spent a lot of time diving with you guys in Hawaii and uh, Maui where we're from and um we're not here in mexico we'll be in egypt next uh 379.2 uh, we're okay. so close right, so we need 800 more followers <laughs> if you guys all follow us we'll get 800 more followers i think they I might all follow us or send it to someone just send us to yes. someone be like these send it to chicks are crazy we're actually not that crazy it's just we're we're awesome, we're awesome. <laughs> you're crazy about our plan. It's like, oh yeah we need to start a poll i was sitting there with kara and we were trying to think of something she wouldn't do like there's a lot i wouldn't do i'm like i don't actually i don't like spiders i don't like most bugs you know there's stuff i won't do but kara on the other hand i'm like i'm pretty sure we can get kara to do anything She's so funny Tell them how that conversation <laughs> wait how did it start if I would dive in the Amazon? Oh, yeah, if you'd scuba dive in the Amazon. <laughs> like, and I didn't even oh, yeah. wait for her answer. I was like, I actually don't know why I asked that. Because um, why Egypt? Um, great question. Egypt has some of the best shore diving in the world. You guys didn't know scuba diving is, is a very, very expensive uh, hobby. Uh, we aren't making much doing these TikTok streams. Uh, we are hoping to one day um, have these live streams be our income. Uh, we've pretty much blown through our savings at this point in the past few months um, uh, living out here in Mexico and focusing on the streams um, and stuff like that. So whew. Um, the reason we're going to be doing Egypt is Cozumel is not good for shore diving. Um, pretty much most of the dives we want to do out here in Cozumel, we have to pay for boats and pay for tour guides and stuff like that. And it's ending up costing us a lot of money um like a lot um so we were looking at the best places to scuba dive around the world from shore which is what we're doing now but we're very limited on where we can shore dive in Cozumel because of the currents they're very strong so we have to be very careful while we're out there um Egypt is one of those places where we'll be able to go and we're pretty much just going to pay for tanks which is still an expense um and keep the upkeep on our gear um, but instead of having to always get out on boats or hire a guide or do the same dive over and over again, um, there's a hundred dive sites we can go to in um, Dahab, Egypt, um, and get you guys out uh, and exploring the ocean there. And it's beautiful. Um, and I'm really excited to see the Egyptian culture. Um, so, yeah, we're excited. Yes, thank you. Um, and then as you guys know, like last week, um, Maui was impacted by the fire. It's my home. It's where I was raised. It's where I'm from. Um, so like last week, um, I think up until like today, every single penny that we made on TikTok was, uh, we made at all, period, uh, was going to friends and family um, and different people who were not only just like impacted by the fire, but like they really lost everything, like their jobs, their houses, their apartments. Um, so we were just Venmoing. Um, all the money we were getting from TikTok, um, and you guys donated a lot. I think we raised over three grand, oh, definitely over three thousand um, dollars here, and we were able to kind of spread that out to different people who were in need of food, shampoo, clothes. A lot of people on the west side were in need of gasoline just to like start their cars because they were trapped over there. Um, Cozumel is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, my direct, like, sister who lives there was not affected, um, but, like, my family that have been my ohana out there, um, for my whole life, uh, were affected. Um, my, my closest, closest, closest friend, um, Bettina, you guys have dove with her when we were in Hawaii, 
um, her, her place of work burnt to the ground. So she's out of a job and she didn't even keep any of the money. We were actually Venmoing her the money and she was giving it to everybody else and using every penny of it to transfer supplies to the west side of the island to the people that were trapped over there after the fires. So she's just an incredible person. Ooh, there's a lot of lightning out there. Um, and then that's what we were asking last night. Um, instead of donating to some of the larger corporations, we put a link up in our link tree. Um, it is a list of different people's GoFundMes and Venmos of actual people that you can go donate to that immediately need those funds. Um, and it would be greatly helpful and beneficial. Um, and that list has been put together by the Maui residents. Um, it's a great resource to go and even contribute, get all that lightning, just a dollar to uh, somebody whose uh, house has lost, maybe family members lost, uh, whether pets and people and stuff. It's awful. Everything. But we've put that up in our link tree. We've been working really hard to get donations out to everybody in Maui and working as much as we possibly can. We appreciate all of your guys' support and prayers and thoughts. And it's really helpful to be spreading awareness on what's going on in Hawaii and in Maui. All that aloha. <laughs> that lightning. I know that was going on right before we dove. <laughs> Kara convinced me it was really far away. So. <laughs> There's no thunder. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying don't ever donate to like Red Cross and FEMA and all of that. I just know that the big, uh, <laughs> the big corporations that are out there that are supposed to be helping aren't. Um, and that's not like, oh, what I heard on TikTok or Facebook or something like that's that's direct information from our friends that did lose their houses and their jobs and do need help. And they are not being helped with that lightning. They're not being helped by the the foundations that should be helping them, that people in America are donating their money to, hoping it's going to help the people of Maui. Um, so your direct donations to those families will help a lot more. <laughs> I know we got to take a shower we got to go sleep you guys are awesome yeah um all in all it's between 150 and 200 pounds of gear that we're going to get up those stairs over there and across the street to our car um in one trip we, we are stubborn and we do it in one trip Kara is a beast <laughs> she is strong <laughs> Um, I know. And then everybody keep California in your prayers, too, you guys. Um, they have a big storm. Lightning headed their way as well. It is just now starting to, like, have major effects on the west coast of Mexico. Um, there's just a lot going on, a lot of people to pray for. Um, we, I'm not 100% sure on the time tomorrow, you guys. Um, what do you guys think? Um, oh, and that heat in Central. Oh, no, Matt. Uh, no, we're in Mexico, the Caribbean side of Mexico right now. A little lightning storm going on. Um, so we will definitely, we have so many different places to keep in our prayers right now and thoughts. And it's been overwhelming, um, especially because our home is Maui. Um, and that is where I've spent the entirety of my life. So it's been a very emotional week for us. Um, very draining. Beautiful lightning. Um, but yeah, let us know what time you guys think we should go live tomorrow. I know Yellow Knife needs lots of prayers too. That's devastating. Um, is AmeriCares helping Maui? I am not 100% sure. Maui United Way is a great foundation to donate to. And they're Hawaii Community Foundation. And Hawaii Community Foundation. They're like being the top number one, like, huge organization to actually help. Yes. And then as always, you guys, the Maui Humane Society, please, 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 if you guys don't know where to donate and you want to go donate to an organization, please donate to the Maui Humane Society. There's over 3,000 pets that are being, like, treated by burns, misplaced from family, etc. Um, they're doing a lot of work right now to uh, reunite pets even house pets because people are homeless. They're treating so many animal burn victims. Um, and they're also having to contact the families. They're, they're recovering 
the, I don't know how to word this, remains of many pets and having to contact the owners and identify them. So they're just working tirelessly. So if there is an organization, even if it's just a dollar, the Maui Humane Society is struggling right now and could really use any love and help um, as well, on top of all the people that need all this help too. Thank you so much, Matt. If you guys didn't know, we were uh, working with Maui Diving when we were in Hawaii. They're just an amazing family and group of people. They were providing us with our tanks and just support and love. And their location in Lahaina is burnt to the ground and they found out about a day or two ago, as many businesses are about to find out in Hawaii, that their insurance will not cover them for this disaster at all. So um, that's a great company to donate to that lost their entire business in Lahaina, um, and they aren't going to be covered at all. So um, their GoFundMe has a YouTube link on there for Maui Diving uh, that explains their situation, and they're just incredible people um, and really, really huge in the community of Maui. So it's just heartbreaking. And there are so many stories like that. Um, no, a uh, piquito espanol, not much. Um, and the thing too is we are learning the languages, like we're learning a lot of Spanish here, um, but again, it's difficult because we're going from Mexico to Egypt where the language is Arabic. And then after that, I think we're gonna be in Malta or Japan. So it's just so many different cultures and languages. We're learning what we can learn, but it's too many languages to fully dedicate ourselves to. Um, Yes, thank you so much, Lance. Um, and we do have a link in our bio that will direct you to the GoFundMe and uh, Venmos of actual families. And thank you for just listening to us and asking questions, uh, whether you can donate or not to. I know I keep saying like, please, even if it's a dollar, um, but I know a lot of people aren't in a situation to donate um, and that's okay. Um, I, we understand, trust me, uh, just your thoughts and your prayers and, and you guys spreading the word on some of this information is so helpful as well. Uh, please, can you say anything in Spanish? Um, what do we say? Soy Brittany. Soy Brittany. Buenas noches. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm so tired. I can't actually say more than that. I promise. Um, tengo, what is it? Tengo hombre. Hombre. So hungry. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, yes, thank you so much, Callie. Even sharing the information helps. And again, um, if you can't donate, like, don't feel bad if you can't donate to any families or anyone. Like, so many of us just aren't in the best situations, even financially. So that's not on you. Um, thoughts, prayers, knowledge, um, spreading awareness helps a lot. Look at that lightning. And we love you guys. We appreciate you so much. Eat something, it's late. <laughs> okay, it's loading up. I can carry a bunch of stuff in. <laughs> yeah, I'm hombre. All right, but I know there's hombre and hombre. Isn't one like hungry and one's man? <laughs> Hombres. <laughs> I feel like I'm going around a lot saying, like, I, I have a man. <laughs> Yeah, hombre is hungry. <laughs> okay. My kids are actually picking up so much Spanish. It's amazing. But they hang out with their Spanish friends. Yeah, they they've got their little bestie Spanish friends. And, like, they're so cute because their friends don't speak any English. And my kids didn't speak any Spanish. And they all, like, communicate with each other all day and teach each other their languages. It's adorable. <laughs> hombre. <laughs> Yeah, they have different meanings, and that's one letter off. But I mean, it's easier than English. I swear, English is so hard, so ridiculous compared English to other languages. <laughs> I don't know much. Loco, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. See, we got we got some Spanish terms. I promise, I know more when I'm in like a setting where I'm talking to somebody who's speaking Spanish to me. I do like use some more Spanish. <laughs> uh, Kara's dance was a very good. They loved it. They loved it, Kara. <laughs> you are voted our dancer. Um, they will know before you. <laughs> no, and they have the drive too, Tammy. Like, they're so excited. They're from Hawaii, born and raised in Maui, um, 
and then this is their first country that they've been to outside of America and they're just so happy they're so into like the currency and the language and like the culture they're so brave with eating all the different foods my little seven-year-old up and decided she wanted octopus legs last night for some reason for dinner they're so funny with like which is so funny because I don't eat octopus <laughs> because I love them so much <laughs> so I don't know where they get some of this from but it's a culture thing like uh, their little friends like seafood so oh my gosh oh I gotta... you ready Kara? All right, let me just video. Oh, she's not showering. She's good. <laughs> uh, we love Hawaii too, Hector. Thank you guys so much for allowing uh, your prayers. That is such a bright light. Um, I don't know if anybody here realizes, but when we um have this light like shining on you, that's all you see is the light. <laughs> you don't see anything else. See it when I turn it around. Oh, I know. I was doing that the other night. I remember. I was definitely like completely blinded. So, but this was such a great dive. It was awesome to have you guys all here. I know we are super, super, super close to our 380,000 followers, which was our goal tonight. So thank you guys for at least helping us get to that. We are almost at 1 million likes, which is amazing. We actually only need like 33 more, 33,000 more. So everybody's been doing excellent at their little tappy tap taps and we love it so much. You guys are awesome. We would be nothing without you guys sitting here watching us, hanging out with us, um, feeling our excitement. We know that you guys get just excited as we do when we see all of our wonderful friends out there, the octopus and the little sea pancakes and everything like that. Um, the worm. I think, I think everyone just loves that worm. It's bothering me so much. I was trying I to know, keep it away from you, you but I at the same you, like, time, it was, like, it was like going towards my face. I get why you don't like them. It was like attacking me. At one point in time, I was like, it's in my hair. I like in, yeah. in my hair. I like felt it like squirming on my head and I was like, oh God. So, so I kept, like pointing the camera at my face to talk to everybody and then like that worm would just spin by or start smacking into my mask and I'm like, stop. No, the worms were <laughs> real rough. Real rough situation with those worms, man. Um, I know everybody is dying laughing about the worms right now. That is all I see. Me underwater, like, no, no, go away, stop. So dramatic. <laughs> me too. But um I'm trying to decide whether or not I should wait until we have 1 million likes or if we should just end it now. That's all I've so far. It's yes. So hard too. I'm so tired. I think we're actually going to say goodnight to you guys. We love you. You guys did an amazing job hanging out with us today, getting our excitement, seeing everything. We love you guys so much. Our moderators are fabulous. We would not do it without them. So um and we are diving tomorrow yes um, i'll make an event here in a few minutes you guys can help discuss what time is going to work best we have already reserved two tanks for tomorrow um we just didn't pick a time we don't know if we want to do a day dive with you so you can spend some more time out in the water with the sun up or if it's going to be best to do a night dive <laughs> Yeah, we're not quite sure. Everybody keeps saying wait until 1 million. We only need 16,000 more. Oh, we are so tired, though. Yeah, there's a towel. Oh, thank you. Um, whew, okay, so um, I know we get this question all the time. What is the coolest thing we've ever seen out there? And I have probably answered it a million times, but I will never get sick of it. I definitely love the interactions which, I mean, it's always cool to see, like, the big things, the whales and stuff like that, but I think it's, like, when you see them actually interact with you, that's the coolest part. Um, the actively hunting sharks that we saw, which we actually caught on a live, was the coolest thing ever. 
and um we me and Brittany we're attached to each other so you know she was holding the camera like she normally does and I have the buoy and we're attached to each other and we see this shark and um what we happened was we swam into a giant bait ball of fish because it looks cool and the shark comes in to try to catch one of those fish when we're in the bait ball um it wasn't a terribly big shark maybe like six feet so um he swims in and swims back out didn't actually catch it and i was trying to swim after the shark because i'm like Brittany, did you see the shark there was a shark let's go find the shark i want the shark and Brittany tells me that I'm crazy underwater and that she is absolutely under no circumstances going to chase an actively hunting shark. So, but hey, Brittany, guess what? What? We hit one million likes! Look at that. Woo! I, like that. I know. Thank you guys so much. You guys hit a million likes on our first dive, too. So I was like, Yay! you guys have absolutely crushed it tonight. Uh, we did so good with like all our gift gold. Got so many awesome new followers who are going to be hanging out with us too. I know a lot of you guys who are on right now and just all night um, are on all the time with us and always out yes. diving with us, and we love it. I like, thank you so much for just uh, being a part of all this and spending all your time with our crazy antic self. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> um, and Ray did ask if we we're sisters, not by blood, but yes, we are sisters. <laughs> not blood yeah. sisters, but. Still sisters nonetheless. It was awesome hanging out with you guys. Thank you guys so much. I fully believe that we also hit our other goal of 380,000 followers. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure we did. I feel like we did. We did hit our other goal. So thank you guys for always being amazing and giving us so much love and support and everything that you guys do. Um, say good night, Brittany. Guys, we had a lot of fun. We are so ready to go eat an absolute like a thousand calories and food and pass out. Yes, thousand <laughs> calories of food and pass out. And we'll definitely see you guys tomorrow as long as it's not raining. We did hear there are some storms coming in, um, so we aren't sure if that's going to hit tomorrow or not. If it doesn't hit tomorrow, which we're hoping it doesn't, then uh, we'll be out in the water with you guys too. Yes. So, um, all. Weather and conditions considered, we will see you guys tomorrow if conditions are well. If not, uh, we will see you guys soon. Alrighty, you guys. We love you. Have a great night. Love you guys. Thanks for diving with us.